Sugar became an important part of the economy, but the industry's success was built on the forced labour of more than 60,000 South Sea Islanders. They faced brutal working conditions and a shockingly high mortality rate. Lollies oh, this yes. morning, right? And this is Wasakama Melda Davis, who Hi, has Melda. Hi. Hello. a very interesting family connection to sugar. Oh, oh. that I do. <laughs> My name's Wasakam because I was recognised by our Vanuatu chiefs as being a leader in the community. Because oh, a lot of the work I've been doing is advocating for the recognition of slavery in Australia. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people have that reaction that you've got. But um, back in the 1840s, uh, 47 in particular, Benjamin Boyd bought the first 200 uh, what they called Kanaks. That was a derogatory term for uh, Bushmen, um, Melanesian labourers from my grandfather's island home of Vanuatu. My grandfather swimming on the beach with his friends. and. Uh, he was stolen. He was coerced onto a ship and he was taken to a uh, plantation in Bundaberg directly. Jesus. And then never went back again. The 60,000 that were taken from these islands over a 40 year period, it was just continuous. And still today, they speak of this back home that they can hear the women wailing for their loved ones and their men. I don't understand how I've never heard this story before. I had no idea that there was any form of slavery in Australia. Like, I'm so shocked. I can't even believe I'm saying the word slavery and Australia in the same sentence. So we took your kids. Yeah. This is a kid. Yeah. To work here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't compute with me. I'm speechless. It's a yeah. pretty, um, it's a, I think it's a part of Australian history that lots of people don't know about. And yeah, often no, people say, oh, we've never had slavery in this country. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Australia's got this dark past or this dark history that nobody really knows no, about. We don't. And it's a shared history, right? Because yep. we were brought here to build the economy, you know, and I'm very proud of the fact that my 12 year old grandfather, my 14 year old great grandmother, and my great-great-grandfather, you know, contributed significantly to the economy in sugar. It's amazing, isn't it? Because, yeah. like, the first sugar canes came over with the first fleet to Australia. Yes. And it became, by the mid-1800s, this extraordinary booming industry, and there's a huge demand for it, right? Because yep. people love it's your little sugar. cones of lollies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's food for thought, I guess. I was impressed that even despite the the horrors that were inflicted upon her family, that she was still so proud of what her family had done for this country in building up the Australian sugar industry and the Australian economy at large. And I'm amazed that, you know, she still takes pride in what they did for this country. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 I'm glad that I know that it happened, but I'm horrified that it did. <laughs> 